Hey everyone, this is Dave with Android Police and we are at Xiaomi's media event here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress and I am holding the all new uh, Xiaomi Mi 5. If I can get the camera to focus on the phone at least I am. Okay, so um, as you can see this is the new Mi 5. Uh, this is the black version in 64 gigabyte storage trim. Comes in a 32 gigabyte, a 64 gigabyte, and a 128 gigabyte. 128 gigabyte is actually a special model called the uh, Xiaomi Mi 5 Pro, which has a ceramic as opposed to a glass back. Uh, the 32 and 64 gigabyte versions have a uh, standard glass back. The 128, like I said, has a ceramic. We don't have one of those in front of us at the moment, and it's kind of a zoo here, so I don't know if we'll get one at all. But um, the big features on this phone, 5.15 inch display. Uh, Xiaomi says it's ultra bright, and I'll turn it up here real quick. So you can see it is uh, pretty blinding um, to at least my camera. Um, so uh, a lot of the story here is a Snapdragon 820 processor and a low price. So you've got four gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 820 processor uh, with variable clocks, depending on which version you buy. I believe the Pro has the highest clock, though I'm not sure if it's in 64. I think the 32 has a slightly lower clock than the others. Um, what else do you get? You get a brand new uh, Sony IMX, I believe, 298 rear camera sensor. Uh, that has face tech autofocus. I'm not really too sure how great this camera is going to be in practice. Xiaomi showed a lot of very impressive photos, but they didn't disclaim that they weren't retouched. So it's always hard to tell. Um, the autofocus is probably pretty fast. I doubt it's going to be as fast as uh, the autofocus on the new Galaxy S7, um, which is a different technology license from Canon. Uh, this is just standard face detect AF. Um, what else is there to know, really? You've got Xiaomi's Mi UI, which has been updated to run. If I can find the settings menu here, Android 6.0 underneath, uh, which is obviously something uh, a lot of people would want. So that's very important to note. It has the Play Store, as you can see. And uh, this version, I believe, I want to say it's 23.99 RMB. I'm not sure. Uh, I know the cheapest one, the 32 gigabyte, is 19.99 RMB. The most expensive one is 26.99 RMB. So now, if you want to go over the cheapest one, that's the equivalent uh, if you take out the Chinese VAT in the U.S. of around $260 or so. But, you know, you have factor in sales tax in the U.S.A. Eh, closer to $300 with tax and all things considered. Not that these phones are coming to America that we know of. Xiaomi has said, well, they'll launch in China starting with pre-orders on March 1st. But beyond that, uh, they say they'll launch in India and other markets. But they aren't getting specific. And uh, the U.S. seems, uh, well, unlikely, frankly. Um, Xiaomi... Uh, has avoided the U.S. market and Europe to date quite a bit, so it doesn't. It seems like if they were going to make a big deal out of launching in the U.S. and Europe with this phone, they probably would have said so at the get-go. Though we obviously can't know for sure. There's a fingerprint sensor here on the front. Um, Xiaomi wasn't too detailed about what makes it better or worse than any other fingerprint sensor. Um, you've got capacitive keys here uh, in the. Uh, odd Chinese style where there's not actually any iconography on the keys, you just got these two white dots. I've never been a fan, but uh, it's, a, it's a little more common on uh, on some Chinese market phones, I suppose. You've got Xiaomi's theming engine, uh, it's part of my UI, um, and you know, basically everything else you expect in my UI device. The battery is 3,000 milliamp hours, but the phone only weighs 129 grams, which is very light, really. I mean, this is a light phone. Despite having a glass back, uh, it does feel very light and easy to hold. It's got the uh, Samsung-style curves on the edge here, which you may be able to see um, around the back. The front is flat, but the back has these curves on the glass that do make it a little easier to hold, uh, I would say, and that's what Xiaomi was saying as well. If you look at the design, it's uh, pretty reminiscent to the last Xiaomi Note device. Um, but with the add, uh, the addition of these uh, these curved edges, the uh, on the metal here and on the glass on the back, uh, to give it a distinct personality that is not altogether unlike a Samsung Galaxy phone. So that is our quick look at the Xiaomi Mi 5, which you can probably not expect to come to a retailer near you, uh, at least through legitimate channels.